Good afternoon, everyone. Protein from volcanoes. Don't have to wait too long, shivaloosh. 50,000 foot eruption. Majority of Canadians believe food prices are rising faster than their income. Highest pressure ever recorded over the UK. And the mass gain of ice on Greenland eclipsing records. With everyone working from home, even the DHS is recommending IT staffers use a VPN. You can head over to virtualshield.com and in the download tab, I'm going to choose Firefox. And click install now to add the Virtual Shield add-on. It's just that easy. And get started with your free 30-day trial. Install it, click connect. You'll see the shield turn from red to green. And you'll see how from my initial service provider, I was able to even change my IP Virtual Shield network protected. And during the month of April, Virtual Shield is offering 50% on all VPN plans and premium add-ons. The link's in the description box below. Over here to the Veg Economist, Nature's Find. Raising an enormous amount of money for new-to-the-world, quote-unquote, protein sourced from volcanoes. And I thought that is so apropos with the increasing of galactic cosmic rays and this massive uptick in volcanic eruptions. There must be an enormous amount of food floating around. It should be free food for everyone, yes? But it's more about producing proteins from a microbe originally discovered in geothermal springs of Yellowstone's volcano. Nine amino acids making it one of the rare non-animal sources of complete protein. And again, they're giving us an alternative to meat, are they not? An alternative to dairy. We don't need those big nasty animals out there. Too much methane. And in these challenging times, securing food for a growing population is going to be almost nigh as we enter deeper into the grand solar minimum. China didn't plant this year. They're super far behind. Europe is not really planting as of yet. America... Super wet, not planting so much, and massive fertilizer shortage. So yields this year are not going to be able to feed our growing population. Gee, I wonder why control is being taken of the world's food supply with another excuse right now. Two and two together equals innovative technology with limited resources. And highlighted in green there, we must find new solutions that can both nourish people and the planet. Oh, they care about the planet so much. But not the people. You don't count. And because we have so many proteins rolling out of these volcanoes, here we go. Chivalouche volcano explodes into the stratosphere 50,000 feet. That was at the end of March. That volcanic ash should start to swing around the planet in the more northerly latitudes. So it just makes you wonder with this massive ping and increasing ice on Greenland, do you think it's related to the volcanic ash cover? Because there's 75% less air traffic going on right now with So maybe the albedo from air traffic is being replaced with sulfur dioxide from multiple erupting volcanoes on the planet at the moment. And speaking of food, this report out here in the beginning of March, before things got really crazy across our world, a majority of Canadians believe food prices are rising faster than their income. And this was before what you're seeing right now with, you know, lines to go into stores, all these, you know, wait over here, you're too close to people. 53% of Canadians, even before all this craziness, were still considering to change their habits to save money, including eating less meat. Oh, wait a second. Did we just see eat less meat, a meat substitute in that previous article? I wonder if it's a theme. And not all food is created equal. So if you're going to break it down, vegetable prices seem to have the most concern, almost 70% of Canadians. So cold up there, vertical indoor agriculture microgreens, grow your own. Canadian government should be investing in this for every single household. And how about greenhouses to grow fruit in Canada? Oh, wait, that's that's thinking outside the box. Forget it. Okay, retract that. And the quote here, the sentiment of not being able to afford food appears to be widespread across several demographic segments of the society. Not just Canadians, but I'm wondering how the rest of the world's going to react with these increasing food prices, lack of availability, much more difficult accessing it, going to stores, and how the threads of society are going to be ripped apart based on food. And we're not even at the grand solar minimum food crop losses yet, but it seems a lot of control is being put over the food supply at the moment, which makes me think we're getting real close. 
because you would look for signs in the atmosphere of change and unusual behaviors that might signal a shift in the electromagnetic workings of our planet. Oh, there's one right here. New surface pressure record over the UK. Which accompanied a blistering Arctic front dropping temperature something like 20 Fahrenheit below the normal. And if you read what the Met Office put out here, it says it looks likely that this is the highest pressure recorded since the 24th of December 1926. Now, it's interesting that it's in a different season. That was a winter storm. This is into spring here. Now, the all-time highest pressure recorded was January 31st. Again, a winter storm, 1902. This new record, not actually in the record books right now, is they're still trying to determine the exact pressure reading in hectopascals. So once the official, quote-unquote, final number, it'll be tallied. But until that time, this is what they're giving us in the news. Also, like I said, that Arctic front that blasted down at the same time accompanying this high pressure now that minus four that you see up Wales, Scotland down freezing mark. Remember zero in Celsius is 32 at freezing. So when we're about four degrees Celsius below zero, you're looking in the low 20 Fahrenheit. And looking south and west of London, look at that two degrees Celsius, three degrees Celsius. That's just a, a sliver over freezing. Incredibly rare. This late in the year. And I've heard firsthand accounts about how rainy it is again and how delayed the planting is in the UK. Just another tick the box of countries that aren't going to produce anywhere close to what they normally have over the last hundred years. Grand solar minimum crop shortages at your doorstep intensifying 2020. So how prepared are you for emergencies and food? Four week food supply, my Patriot supply and adapt 2030. Their shipping delays seem to be coming down in duration. Before it was 12 weeks, now it's 10. So order now. It will arrive just in the time that you might need it most because they're partnering with UPS, critical infrastructure. Those trucks are going to keep rolling and those orders are going to continue to be delivered. Thanks for watching. All the links in the description box below for tonight's video as well as My Patriot Supply. And I will see you next time.